All right, now we're back with your turn to die. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'll keep checking on her from a distance. We need to go find where the fuck now went. Mm. Oh my god, Joe. Hey now. Hey, now that's a shout. Keep searching like that. Now... Ah, not in my ear, dumbass. Shut away from me. Super sorry. Can't proceed past these iron bars. Did Mighty vanish past here? Let's go to Mer. Oh, wait. I was just here. Seems like you're kind of puzzled, Sarah. Might be another scary trap, meow. Better be careful. Came off easily. Can't think of a man shot to death. There's a painting on the back, too. Scales tip to the white. Move weight to the other side. Whoa! In another room. Let's check out Spur. It's either to it's either an SP. Looks like it's a spa. Iron Age offers some pretty good amen amenities. That's true. If there's hot water, we could got enough moisture to live for days. Feels like you can't stay positive while the whole world's ending, Sarah. Hello, penguin. I'm not, I'm not a penguin. Wait, <laughs> the dog just talked. Let's notice. Okay, let's check out Row. Huh. No, mother. Oh, a key. Oh, never, never mind. I'm not a penguin. I will. Okay. Now that I've got a bath plug. Oh, hold on. Maybe there's someone in the calf. Nope. Kitchen is still locked. What? Oh, hmm. 
Hmm. Where is everybody? Dun 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 dun. Surely. Where does this whole woman go to? I would like to believe she's safe. What the? Oh. Doesn't seem like there's anything new. What the hell? <laughs> like I'm looking into a mirror. <sighs> Ernie's got some wild hobbies, huh? It's eerie how detailed it is. And I can't look away from that intricate intricateness. It's amazing. But when was this made? You couldn't pull this off without a lot of long detailed observation. Who could accomplish such a thing? Casey, I want to know your perspective. Is there someone who has your attention? Maybe Joe. He's such a funny guy, you know. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Now, enough about that. Want to take this doll along? Right. Understood. He obtained a Sara doll. Let's go. Now we know where to put this. Mur. Murder. Good work out there, me. Oh, I was right. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Yeah, and then I look in the front. Huh. Oh, want to ride on my shoulders? Sure, please do. Hey, I was half joking, but all right. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. Piggyback, please. Well, it's only logical. There, there. There, there. You did good. Mr. Policeman's not a dog. 
that everything in the room is symmetrical. Something outside the roof move, making a loud call. Way to go, Sarah. Let's take a look outside. The metal bars? Yeah. What are we gonna find? Huh? The key, it's gotta tag me out. Oh, the key to the kitchen. Since the key's here, now shouldn't have been able to get in without breaking the window. But we should check, just in case. Yep, best to be simple and methodical in your investigation, Sarah. Yay! What's in the kitchen? What's in the kitchen? It's... What the fuck? How'd you get in here? Nah, how'd you get in here? Please stay away. Hey there, settle down now. You especially, please. Okie dokie. What'd you come here for? Please leave. Sora? I'm scared. Now it's really right, what... You won't do anything. When the world happen? As if you don't know that. I won't. I won't hand over the professor. Now, doesn't want him to be taken. Please calm down. We don't intend to take him. Then, please just leave. It's no good. It can't be resolved. Oh, wow. You really didn't come here intending to take the professor? Right. Please believe us. It's you, Sarah. I'll believe you. Well, can we come a little closer? Probably not you, bro. You put your back to the door and stay quiet, please. Roger that. Sarah, why'd you come here? I'm worried for you, so we came look. I was afraid what the keeping members might do if you resisted them. Sarah, you're right. I'm sorry. That if car just caused you trouble. I've been hiding here the whole time when the light with the lights turned off. Since if the kidnappers find me, they'll take him. This room have a light switch. No, no one. You're the first ones. I figured as much. Someone had had there'd be an uproar. I think we could talk properly. No, I'm sorry to say things like this, but I understand. I understand that what I'm doing is wrong. I've caused all of you trouble. I shouldn't be acting like this forever, should I? What should I do? I just have to procedure. Oh, shit. Let the box go. It's not possible. I just can't do it. I just... Okay. Now, did you know that stairs going to the second floor appeared? Oh, that's what you're talking about. Huh? You don't mean an exit? No, the rooms are there are just full of tricks. In the process of searching for you, Gin got trapped in a cage. Gin? Yeah. He was very frightened by it. That's my fault, isn't it? I know how you feel now, but... You can't be exposing the people who are alive to danger, too. The people who are alive, not wording, Professor Mishima is dead now. <laughs> no! Oh! oh my god, what is wrong with my voice? Okay. That's right, of course. I kept questioning him in the dark. But the professor didn't say a word, huh? Wonder why. That's pretty sad, but, you know. No matter how busy he was, the professor I knew 
always answered my questions with a smile. I was in the middle of painting it. What? A portrait of the professor. Oh, that I meant to give him as a gift. Oh, well, I can't give it to him anymore, can I? And what about it? Huh? He must have taught you many things. About art, about studying, about many more things, and important, important things. Who knows Professor Mishima best out of anyone? Now, you should make it back alive and finish that painting yourself. I... I want to paint it. Until I finish that portrait, I can't die. Right! It's sad, but this... This box, I'll let go of it now. The door is open. You should go see Reiko. Because she was the most worried. Yes! Sorry about what I said, Mr. Policeman. Well, we better give our all, too. Right. Uh, well, Sarah, if you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside must be the professor. No, searching every nook and cranny is the only thing I can do. You're really something, kid. Huh? Oh, wait, what? What's going on here? No buts about it. It's totally empty. Was now Gaily protecting a boss that had nothing in it? Where did the professor go? The kidnappers probably didn't take it, didn't they? I have to think she never let go go of it. Getting hard to tell what's the truth. Even as far as Mishima's death. <laughs> nah, I just felt like saying that. Miley, wasn't it? If Mishima could revive like her, just sticking his head on, I'm sure now I'd be glad. <laughs> it's out of the question. No. No way she's a doll. Well, no point in worrying about it. Let's keep trucking along and just pursue the truth. What a policeman. Let's just take the box then. The blue refrigerator is empty. There's something staring at the space for cookware. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this box? Please use as you wish. 361802. Ooh, upstairs. What is this? Ooh, air conditioning. Okay, cafeteria. Central hall. Let's go back upstairs. Oh, no. Sarah! Reiko. Heard you found now. You did good. Thanks. I'm sorry for worrying you. Don't sweat it. Especially because you're safe. But now, we're your buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? Buds. You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I can take it off. That's not it. I'm very happy. All right. Three eighty. Nice. Six twelve. Three eighty. Nice. Six twelve. Nice. Now, now, what's in the black room? A paper shredder? And a spotlight. How about it, Sarah? See anything of interest? This? Huh. Just garbage. Probably just a waste of time to check it all, huh? Hmm. Recreating the documents from all these people would be very time consuming. Well, try searching it, meow. Gin. <laughs> Gin. Gin seems all fired up. 
I'll watch him till he's done. All right. Time for the right room. Time to go into headspace. Whoa, what the hell? Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? Hmm. I can sense a bad feeling somehow. So, please tell me. I'm betting somebody died here. I can faintly spell blood. Ah, and since there's dust, it was wiped a little while ago. I put the time around, yeah, maybe the first trial. Yeah, once I've been cognizant of it, I understood the unremovable raw stench of blood, the air that repels from my instincts. It's disgusting. I want to throw up. And I did. Oh! Don't imagine it. Feeling your limits, saw? Keiji, I'll check every inch of this room. You get out, Sara. But, I'm saying, trust in your friendly policeman. I proceeded to exit out of the room. Symbol. Don't give me the fear of death. I'll do my best to make up for troubling you. Seems going the same in that room there. No worries, Sara. Okay. Okay. Hey, Miss Sara. So, um, Kana, aren't you tired? It's not good to work too hard. You should take some time to rest. Huh. I'm a little tired too. If you start getting weary, everyone will be uneasy. It's bad for your looks too. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> but you never know when someone might attack. So it's hard to stay calm and rest, huh? Stay calm and rest, huh? Miss Sarah. I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own, but, uh, hey, Joe's your best friend, right? Huh? Yeah, he can be a bit stupid in ways, but he's a really good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sara, you trust Joe, then. So, what about Joe? Miss Sara. So came very close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? Uh, I had nearly forgotten. No, I'd been trying to forget it. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes, so and so and now got zero votes, and everyone else got one vote each. But of course, we thought that Chell's choice had no moon, held no meaning. You see, I voted for Joe. What? Do you know what that means? Sorry, that must have bewildered you. We'll be going now. Catch you later. No way, right? Joe didn't vote for himself? No way, right? You gotta be lying. But why would so lie? Fuck, okay. We we'll have to go find Joe. Where was he last? He's probably in here. Oi! Joe's sitting down warily. He's staring at something in his hand. What's the matter, Joe? Ah! Sarah, you startled me. What are you looking at? This was in my inside pocket. That's... It was a photo of me, Joe, and Ryoko. Who's Ryoko? We were at a cafe having a fun chat together. 
Yeah. Man, I miss her. Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect, suspect Joe. So, he must just be seeing shadow where there's shadows where there ain't any, aren't any. Suddenly, I thought back. Joe got involved in this because he came to my house. If he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as normal right now? How late a realization is that? I was so focused on myself. I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. <laughs> I was so nervous I couldn't talk at all. Somehow, we ended up talking about you, Sara. Huh? Can you remember that time you tried to sit on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? I couldn't stop laughing. What? You promised you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> it sure got the conversation lively. So then, I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, I mean, you didn't know, you don't know me that much, right? Yeah? <laughs> really? Well, no friend of sorrows could be a bad person, you know? <laughs> Funny, right? Because I was thinking the same thing. Joe, Ryoko and me had an, made an agreement. If anyone makes Sara cry, we'll make them cry. Wow, so like, stop looking like you're on the verge of tears. I mean, Joe, you're, if I make you cry, Sara, that means Ryoko's got to sock me, right? <laughs> you're right, Joe. I'd better have you protect me. Yeah, whenever I see a traffic cone, I'll exterminate it. Erase that from your memory. I mean it. No. Who the fuck is Anzo? Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh, Gonbi. Ahem. <clears throat> Sarah Chudowin. There was a noise on the second floor. What happened? Huh? I'll go look. Gombi, you. <laughs> I will remain here. I'll, I'll leave him alone. What? what happened on the second floor? It's not the spa room. No. No. So it's the back hall. What the f- That door is open and shines a bright light. The counter above the door is zero. Don't tell me the people on the second floor went in here. Okay, hold on real quick. Is- Is what's his face done in here? Okay, again, he's still here. And Rico. Did you guys not hear the door open or something? I'll just take a peek. I carefully stuck my only my head into the room. And then... Oh! Someone shoved me from behind. What the fuck? What? With that, I lost consciousness. Who is the traitor? What the hell? Uh, oh, Miley, you mother... Huh? Miley, you ugly mother... Hee <laughs> hee, everyone, how are you feeling? Everyone? Where are the others? This is a pre-recorded video, so I'm afraid I can't answer any questions. Then how'd you answer that? Allow me to thank you, truly, for taking part in the main game. Main game? This is a waiting room prepared for participants. The Last Supper Room. You may fill yourself with food before the game, or form a strategy. Use it however you please. What is she saying? Those who successfully beat the main game can proceed to the next floor. Hooray!
Note that those who do not exit their waiting rooms once the main game starts will die as a penalty. Do keep that in mind. <laughs> the next floor. I will now explain the rules of the game. Everyone, please take the card you obtained while exploring and touch it to the screen. This one. Now I will begin to explain. The basic rules are profoundly simple. One person will be selected by majority vote and that person will die. That is all. What are you calling simple? The vote will be split into two parts. Through the first round, the preliminary votes, half the total will be chosen as candidates. Currently, 11 are alive, so this will be 5. A final vote will be held using these, deciding the ultimate victim. In short, the victim is decided by gradually narrowing it down from 11 people to 5 to 1. Of course, even those not chosen as candidates will posit partitionally will participate in the vote itself. Please, do kill of your own volitions. Stop it. Stop this. However, there are holes in this game. We do not care for intentless games of luck. Such worthless acts as using rock, paper, scissors to def fairly decide the victim are forbidden. And so, everyone, please take out your cards. There are four rolls given by the cards. The first is the commoner. This is a meaningless card with no power at all. The second is the key master. And oh my, it's a terrifying role indeed. For if chosen as the victim, everyone will perish. That's my card. Third is the sage. By holy divination, they know who the key master is. A very lucky role. Congratulations to its owner. Fourth is the sacrifice. Amazingly, this curious card allows the person to survive only if chosen as the victim. What? Which means if they're not chosen, they die. However, there are positives as well. The sacrifice alone gets two votes. And also, if they win, they can escape alive with a person of their choice. Well, but in that case, all the others per will perish. So good luck! There's, a, there's one key master, sage, and sacrifice each. All the rest are commoners. Committed it to marry, memory, yes? So I'm the key master. So is the sacrifice. And we don't know the sage. Hold on. Does this mean? Could it be? So at minimum, two people will die. Everyone, do your best not to be one of them. No way. I felt like I heard something at that moment. The loud sound of someone fainting in the room over. No time like the present. It's now time. Please head to the grounds via the door near the screen, everyone. I wish you luck. <laughs> shit, dude. This is heavy fucking shit. Here we are. KG. You guys, that was fast. Huh. Uh. <laughs> All of you, so pale. Why is this happening? A desperate game is beginning. And yet, we just have to play it. <laughs> ah, so you'll all, you'll, so, so you'll take part after all. Miley, you, uh, please take a good look at those desks, everyone. A rather interesting setup, isn't it? These are reverse hourglasses. 
Most curious indeed. When these hourglasses have all reached the top, the discussion will end. You have 70 minutes until the preliminary vote. After that, you can discuss for 20 minutes before the final vote. Well then, shall the discussion begin? Shh. Hold up. Kana, Kana ain't here. Oh dear. So some would choose not to take part in something so enjoyable. Oh no! Hold on. Kana will definitely come. Time is limited. That is what she shows, and that is the end of the matter. Miss Sara, you haven't made the wrong choice, have you? Did I make the wrong choice? Well then, let us start the main game. Everyone stand at whichever desk you like. Now then, you seem to be prepared. Let the main game begin. Please, wait. Yeah, Kana, hey. Um, I'm also. Kana, you are welcome, Kana Kizuchi. Regrets can wait until after taking part. <laughs> that was such a shitty laugh. Let this wonderful, wonderful main game begin. Fuck, fuck. Candidate vote. An extremely heavy air dominates the space. It's different. This is nothing like the discussions we've had before. <laughs> well, I shall go over the basic rules one more time. A total of two votes will be held. The preliminary vote in the middle of the discussion and the final vote at the finale. Five candidates will be chosen in the preliminary vote and one victim will be selected in the final vote. If the chosen victim is the key master, all lose and all will die. If the victim is a sacrifice, the sacrifice wins and it can escape with one person of their choosing. If the victim is a commoner or sage, the chosen victor and the sacrifice will die. Hmm. So the sacrifice has to guaranteedly be picked then? Ah, uh, yes. I have left rule books on the desk. Make use of them as items, everyone. That is all. <laughs> Use your time however you please. <laughs> Clout, bruh. Thanks, well, it's just a short one. I'm nervous, but I'll say it. You see, I'm the key master. Oh! Huh? I was, under I was unsure whether I should keep quiet. But I want to avoid us all dying, so... What is so shit? The key master is me. Really? That's the truth, ain't it? If nobody else is gonna name themselves, then yeah, I'll believe it. So, what the fuck are you doing? No, because if you reveal your card, your card, you die. Yeah, but it said if you review, if everyone if anyone like takes notice of the card, then you die. So it's lying. I can't imagine anything else. Hmm, is that a fact? I'm afraid I can't believe that easily. But for the current time, so I would trust you as the key master. Thanks. I'll do my best. Oh well. Looks like everybody's accepted it. Let's get back to the main thread. Listen. The roles written on the cards only become really, really become more important come to the final vote. First of all, our priority is looking for suspicious characters. Well, I really know one. Really, might be, really might be someone on the side of the kidnappers lurking. After all, well, my first one would be Gonbi, uh, Kai, Kai, Gonbi, Gonbi. Um, I can't understand what so is thinking. But for now, I just have to focus on discuss this discussion we're going to have. Why would you lie? I've already settled on my pick. Gonby, right? Curse me if you want, I... 
Gonby, I'm voting for you. What the fuck? You can't just decide that willy then anything. What about it? Say what? <laughs> Do what you like. Dumbass, what are you talking about? That means you'll die. You're the fools. Just think for a second. How do you mean that? This vote shouldn't be focused on one point. Indeed, this is the preliminary vote. If we were to unanimously vote for Mr. Gonby, Gonby would be our only choice for the vote. Oh, oh man. And if Gonby is a sacrifice of the Keymaster, we're all done for? It's not as if we freely chose which row of cards we got, right? We were guided into picking them. And there is a possibility that the kidnappers granted the least trustworthy Mr. Gandhi a special role for their own amusement. And now, the chaos ensues, and I'll watch closely as you all flail about. Damn it! Whew. This game is even more malicious than I thought. If you want to survive, we need to assemble as close to five candidates as we can. We gotta suspect five people? This is the worst. An oppressive air covers the area. Sheesh, already beaten at the first push? I'll make a topic for you. Sarah Chidoan, I will vote for you. Have you anything to say back? What the fuck? Huh? Hold on, sounds like our leader. What's your basis? <laughs> then why don't we discuss whether her actions are suspicious or not? Oh, so she's trying to like get us to talk so we can try to root out the most suspicious person then. Right? Stuff like that? I found it suspicious from the word go. How a mere high school girl became a leader. Sarah's always, um, almost always acted with others. She couldn't do anything suspicious. Right? Down to others is one thing. But doubting Sarah? You're awful. Sarah, talk back to him. Gami just got the wrong idea about you. <laughs> you sure have a lot of friends. Have at you, Sarah Chidoan. War of words? Or not. That's because... Hold on, let's try using this against him. Hmm. <laughs> I got 90 clout. Fuck, dude, I should have saved. I did save before this. I'll just save here, too. Hmm. Fuck. Oh, wait. This is a good place to end it. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Hold on. I've saved, haven't I? Let's save again, just in case. All right. Woo! Oh, my God. I'm having so much fun playing this game. Okay. I will continue this again later.